Welcome everybody. Welcome one and all to 1021 Magazine's official YouTube. My mouse is on deck. Red dress on deck. Hat on deck. Lips on deck. You're on deck. I'm on deck. Cheers. Now, I took my time with this whole POV on the vases, Stephanie Mills, Chaka Khan, lots of POVs. So if you see my attire, I love both women and an extra umph to Chaka. However, I'm going to be very unbiased, sensical, whimsical. I'm BB Davis, and you're locked in right here at the official YouTube of 1021 Magazine. Happy holidays to everyone. And however and whatever your reason is for celebrating Thanksgiving, own it. Now myself, as Blackfoot, Choctaw, Cherokee, Melanin Poppin, Black Girl Magic, Kubana, let's just stay with the indigenous beautiful people. I celebrate Thanksgiving because of the resiliency of my people and for family, togetherness and unity and being a descendant of the resiliency. We are on the eve of Thanksgiving so I know the pots are rolling and that's cool. My pots are rolling too. Mimosa on deck. So I hope that you all are settled in. Because my POVs are about to start. But I have on deck, I always carry chopsticks in my purse whenever I might feel the need to want to have some sushi <laughs> like right now no traces of any Thanksgiving preparations except for to taste and that's why most cooks do not eat once the spread is there because you're always tasty so I wrote my own self some sushi here and uh, I'm gonna enjoy now I know for a lot of people you have different etiquettes but I try not to mix my wasabi, dip it into the sauce of choice, and then I have my ginger on the side. So I'm using teriyaki. And it's just a small little plate. I'm gonna grab some fresh ginger here. To cleanse the palate. That's so good. I think what I do is have a little bit more, I put some sesame seeds on there. And just another little taste. And then add in a few pinches of the wasabi on top. Now some people mix it. I mean, you do what you want to do. And that's the whole basis of uh, leading into the conversation, everybody, about the verses, okay? Now, 
we all know my hair is doing the most. We know that um, from the beginning. Of the verses before the verses we put that up <laughs> let's just have a conversation you know from the beginning an interview that Chaka did Chaka was speaking with Linnell Linnell was doing the interview for Vlad TV Chaka was where is my other fan very serious when she said no to doing the verses who would do the verses with me basically and that wasn't shade that was just telling the truth now my hair is just gonna get caught up in all of this until I blow it out but still she wasn't throwing any shade Chaka was telling the truth her discography is incredible but something changed in the midst of that interview with Linnell. We can't deny that, those who checked in on that interview. So maybe as friends, Stephanie, approached by others, said, hey, let's just do this for the culture. Not so much advices, but let's do it for the culture. But whatever the conversation was, we had two incredible legends on stage. Stephanie Mills, Chaka Khan. Now I'm going to turn this down a little bit more because we are in the groove here. So, on stage, both ladies looking great sounding great but we cannot deny that there was a a disturbing a disturbing even to the fans of Chaka there was a disturbing vibration however those who really rock with Chaka it was not a shock that this state but for me for me I felt like there was more than just whatever the addictions may be because Chaka has always been upfront about any type of addictions that she had I felt more so also that there could have been some health issues which is none of our business whatsoever but when you are of the public persona and a public figure and an icon and a legend then you have people who are going to assume give their point of views and just like what we all signed up for it's getting a little warm in here because of that oven everybody <laughs> uh, we're still not privy to our favorite faves personal 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 life so for people who are quick to say oh she was drunk oh she was on drugs the listing of type of drugs 
I saw something a little bit deeper than that. And it could not be. But what I saw, it seemed like there could be some health issue vibrations. We don't know if that was from medication or anything. So here's the vibration, everybody. Take note. Okay, darlings. A lot of times we put people we love, people we admire, people we're fans for, people we're stands for in a time capsule. I was just telling a good, good girlfriend who would be here for Thanksgiving. We haven't hung out in a while. Um, sometimes we put our favorite fans and even people we know, even ourselves, even others to ourselves in a time capsule. That means that we look great for our age, we're doing great things, but still we age. And things do change, whether we speak upon them or not. That's just life. That's just life, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of times we put our celebrities in time capsules. Both ladies, Chaka and Stephanie, are in their sixth decade of life. I'm in my fifth decade of life. I just turned 50 for the year 2021. And I look good for my age, but there are lots of changes from when I was a teenager to 20 to 30, even 40. And so we expect the same vibration a lot of times. But in reality, things change. Okay? So, I just feel like we don't know what exactly this is. And obviously, Chaka is not trying to address it at all. Okay? So, have we seen this before? Well, a lot of people have. I remember there was a live performance with Gladys Knight, with um, Chaka, and with Etta James. And Chaka was feeling pretty good on the stage, but they were her sister's keeper. So now we talk about Stephanie Mills. Stephanie Mills, same thing. She looks great for her age, full of energy, but still, a lot of times we hold people to time capsules as they get older and as we get older and then people if someone should transition then they say oh my god gone too soon but were they really gone too soon are we really all promised old age and if we do reach old age people still hold you to time capsules because people care i get it but still what do we really know if this is permanent of a inducement of addictions that so many people are quick to talk, call upon, you know? Or is this, could be medication or anything like that. Chaka was singing a great little register. She brought her daughter out. I thought it was great. Stephanie Mills, energetic, okay? And knowing a friend, whatever they're dealing with, things are not always what they seem. She held it down. Stephanie did for the sisterhood. I love that she gave love, Stephanie, to Angela Wimbush for the songs. And that is so great. Show womanship from both. Stephanie stepped it up a lot more, of course. But yeah, Angela Wimbush, her pen game is something serious. So I thought that was great love shown there. I would have loved to hear more of a backstory from both, but that didn't happen. But we all were in a groove. I I enjoyed my groove, and I hope that others did too. I thought it was great bringing their children out. Malini and Dara did really, really good. 
you know, for her mom. And then Stephanie brought her son out. It was just a bittersweet, beautiful moment. But then at the end, yes, we heard what we heard. When Chaka exit the stage. Okay. Maybe she didn't know the mic was off. She owns her vibe. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So if we heard that, were we really shocked? It had nothing to do with us. It had nothing to do with Stephanie. Whatever was said to her, the mic was still on. And as she exited the stage, we heard it. We're talking a grown woman. And if you've been following her social media, she did put up on a story with her letting it all hang out. I guess you could read from that whatever you would. But still, between Stephanie, you know, speaking upon Robert Brookins, the great duet, and showing love there, and just with Stephanie's band, which gives that whole versus another extra add up of, I thought it was great. In the time, in the groove. One thing is for sure with. Both ladies, both ladies, okay? They don't have to sing another word of songs that they don't want to. Their songs are iconic. People can sing to them their songs. Their whole career is generational because you can groove to their music and their songs from one beautiful event of yours. If you want to have it at your wedding, your reception, cookouts, girls night out, cleaning the house, they are absolutely legends and absolutely icons. So they could stand on stage that their band jam or have a DJ drop the track. And then we sang. We were giving our roses on the verses between Stephanie Mills and Chaka Khan. We certainly were. So they never want to even sing another word. For true fans, that would be okay. Now, the concern about someone who may not have gotten over their addictions, because many people, they don't. Again, no one on that stage ever shot away about what they do. The best thing that we all can do is pray for them. Send good vibes instead of trying to tear someone down for whatever reason that you felt wasn't quite right for the verses. Prayer can go where no one else can go. Then I did see a comment that said, when Chaka's infamous song came on for Women Empowerment, I'm Every Woman, uh, someone said Chaka. Excuse me, Chaka, she didn't need to sing another word if she didn't want to. You sang. Then there was another person that I read through the comments on the live verses, and they said, where's Whitney version when you need it? Excuse me, pray tell, that is Chuck a song and again if she doesn't want to say another word and is at a jam she can we all are concerned but at the same time we must respect people's choices and if you can't then don't indulge I thought it was great we were given our flowers because these legends came on the stage to show love and give love, and they did. Oh my goodness, Stephanie Mills, put your body into it. Such a groove. Feel the fire. Such a groove. I was not exceptionally happy about the verses as far as cutting the songs about the format for this type of legendary presence of Stephanie Mills and of Chaka. 
I felt like the songs should have not been cut because again generational songs the soundtrack of our lives where have you been when that Stephanie Mills song came on what were you doing I was having a great time myself on 1021 on the live and I talked about coming of age okay in the 80s born in the 70s I loved the interaction when Chaka asked the crowds very coherently hey how many was born in the 70s boom right here how many was born in the 80s how many were born in the 90s she did cute little jokes they both were energetic so it had a lot of people on memory lane indeed you know from skating ranks to a cute little lover's lane going shopping family reunions cookouts different holidays watching your aunties and uncles jam to the music just a beautiful memory from both ladies and yes when you are not hating there were a lot of messages that were dropped okay you can be your sister's keeper in so many ways so where else could you go and see your phenomenal legends for free sitting at home being judgmental again whatever you don't like whatever you're concerned about pray because prayer can go where you can go the verses was in la live audience so if you were in la or trying to go to la to see them up close and personal then you were there other than that, you were in the comforts of your own home, and you were chilling, and it was a vibe. It was a groove. I'm very proud of how these legends can come together and give us so much of themselves. I think a lot of people, again, time capsules, we put people in time capsules. You're talking about people who have been performing for decades and still have a presence of fans, stands, and their discography is unmatched. You know, going from tours, doing plays, TV, commercials, sound bites, interviews after interviews, traveling, touring abroad, not just in the States, album after album, writing, singing, and the voices both are in very good taste and through the haze what people are saying back for Chaka she was giving voice okay and again time capsules may we do less time capsules with our favorite faves and may we do less time capsules even with ourselves give ourselves a little bit of a break and give ourselves some round of applause you know round of applause for just being here and dealing in this thing we call life okay now as for me I'm enjoying my mimosa my outfit is reminiscent of Chaka's first album with the strapless dress red the red lips and the hat this has been so fun I'm gonna tell you though what I wanted to hear Okay, ladies and gentlemen, they did not play from Stephanie Mills. I wanted to hear the medicine song. And from Chaka, I wanted to hear Roaming Through the Wretches. Okay, but because they were not played, I still jammed my jam. Okay? Ooh. I have a beautiful cinnamon stick in here. That really does great with the Chardonnay and with the orange juice so it's really really good I'm gonna really enjoy myself but I just wanted to come on and just say yeah we do hold a lot of our celebrities and public figures even ourselves even our family members in a time capsule and the thing is to get better with time get better with time as much as you can we don't know the battles that people are fighting 
And sometimes we're fighting battles that no one knows about. But the thing is, you stay present and you show up. And that's exactly what both of the ladies did. And again, let's time capsules and celebrate. And when concerned about anything, the worst that we could do is to knock people down levels. But to uplift them. Uplift them in prayer, uplift them in good tidings. And if you can't do that, then the best thing that you could ever do is to be quiet. And that's no shade. Oh, that's no shade. So I hope that your Thanksgiving is going to be great, wonderful, all that is meant to be. And that your weekend is going to be the same too. I just love the holidays coming. Tis the season to be jolly because I'm so jolly. I really, really am. So I try my best to be of good cheer. Overall, as we wind it down for the verses talk, I think a lot of people were genuinely pleased even through some concerns and everything like that, I think just a lot of people were pleased. And so, in saying all that, no matter how much you want to throw shade at any public figure, including myself, many of us are born to take it, but we can dish it back. You are never responsible for how someone responds to you once you've done your initial engaging. It's called the rules of engagement. And the rules of engagement is that there really is no rules. Okay? So, Chaka can take this. Seventy can take this. Any criticism? Even I can take criticism. But people can dish it back. And they're known for dishing. I'm known for dishing. And when you're in this public figure realm, you who survive are the ones who are Teflon. Okay? So, cheers <laughs> to all of us. Still here, still resilient, still about our business. I pay it forward. I love it. Myself, as I enjoy my family, my friends, my close ones. It makes me feel so good that I did my philanthropic work for those in need. That really, really is what it's all about. Being blessed so you can be a blessing. And on naturally from the heart. And I love that. And I come from a family of service and it feels good to keep doing that. Can't wait until I can because I like to give each holiday <laughs> a vibe okay so I love the vibe of Thanksgiving I love the vibe coming up of Christmas and you know just being in the vibe I thank you so much for locking in everybody to this vibe I hope that it brought some clarity for a lot of people let's time capsules of people and even of ourselves and Prayer can go where you can't go. And always remember, people will own their stuff. Make sure you're owning yours. Never get too, too invested on people, but be, you know, invested enough. Now, I'm going to eat the rest of my sushi. Thank you so much for locking in. I'm going to get me just a bit of rest and then get back to some preparations. I'm almost finished. Everybody else has to do their own thing, their contributions. But at any rate, thanks so much for locking in to 1021. I'm BB Davis. Happy holidays. Tis the season. Tis the season to be jolly. I'm jolly. And always, always, always live your life, ladies and gentlemen, to the fullest.